in gate 2008 exam there was two questions based on this statement written here so we will solve the two questions after reading the given statement according to the statement the impulse response ht of a linear time invariant continuous time system is given by ht equal to exponential minus 2t ut ut where ut denotes the unit step function so we are having an lti continuous time system we are having linear time invariant continuous time system and the impulse response ht is equal to e power minus 2t ut this means when the input is unit impulse the output ht is equal to e power minus 2t ut so this is the info given in this statement and now we will solve the first question the frequency response h omega of this system in terms of angular frequency omega is given by so we need to calculate the frequency response h omega or h j omega and to calculate the frequency response we need we need the transfer function hs and we can calculate the transfer function hs by using laplace transform on ht so let's quickly perform the laplace transform on ht ht is equal to e power minus 2t ut we are having ut here therefore we are dealing with unilateral laplace transform let's take laplace transform on both the sides laplace transform of ht will give us the transfer function hs laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 over s ut will have the value equal to 1 from 0 to plus infinity so the laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 over s and we are having e power minus 2t multiplied to 1 and using the property of laplace transform we will have 1 over s plus 2 so we have the transfer function and now we will replace s by j omega this will give us h j omega or simply it will give us h omega and the question is asking us to find h omega so h j omega or h omega is equal to 1 over in place of s we will write j omega so we have j omega plus 2 so option c is the correct option now we will move to the second question the second question is similar to the question we solved in the last lecture it is asking us to find the output and we know about h omega which is the frequency response and in question it is given that sinusoidal input is applied xt is equal to 2 cos 2t so we have the frequency response we have the sinusoidal input and we know what will happen to the output in the last lecture we saw when the input is a sinusoidal function let's take one general sinusoidal function a naught sin omega naught t plus phi and when we apply this input to an LTI system having h omega as the frequency response the output yt will be similar to the input with two changes one change will occur in the amplitude amplitude of input signal is a naught output will have the amplitude a naught multiplied to the magnitude response which we can easily calculate from here mod h omega but the thing is magnitude response is calculated at omega naught and you will get omega naught from the input signal and the second change will occur in the angle of the sinusoidal function input is having omega naught t plus phi but the output will have omega naught t plus phi plus the phase response at omega naught that is 
angle h omega naught you can calculate phase response from here so we are having input input is equal to 2 cos 2t and in the first question we calculated the frequency response h omega it is equal to 1 over j omega plus 2 so there are three things we need to calculate the first thing is omega naught then we will calculate the magnitude response at omega naught and then the phase response at omega naught and once we have these three things we can have the correct answer so let's see how we can calculate the required parameters there is no need to calculate omega naught it is already given in the question input xt is equal to 2 cos 2t when you compare it with this standard signal you will find omega naught is equal to 2 omega naught is equal to 2 and now we will calculate the magnitude response we can have the magnitude response if we can calculate the magnitude of h omega h omega is equal to 1 over j omega plus 2 numerator is equal to 1 and magnitude of 1 is equal to 1 denominator is equal to j omega plus 2 it is a complex number therefore magnitude will be equal to 2 square plus omega square so finally we are getting 1 over under root 4 plus omega square but we need the magnitude response at omega naught so in place of omega we will put omega naught and omega naught is equal to 2 so in place of omega we will write 2 and this will give us the magnitude response at omega naught and it is equal to 1 over under root 8 or we can write 2 root 2 so we have 1 over 2 root 2 now we will calculate the phase response that is the angle of h omega in numerator we are having a real value and real value will make an angle of 0 degree and in denominator we are having a complex number 2 plus j omega so the angle will be tan inverse omega over 2 now when omega is equal to omega naught which is 2 we will have the phase response at omega naught and it is equal to 0 over tan inverse 2 by 2 that is tan inverse 1 and tan inverse 1 is equal to 45 degrees or we can write pi by 4 so we have 0 degree over pi by 4 which we can write as 0 radian over pi by 4 or simply 0 minus pi by 4 or minus pi by 4 so the phase response at omega naught is equal to minus pi by 4 let's quickly have our output yt will be equal to a naught multiplied to magnitude response a naught is equal to 2 so 2 is multiplied to 1 over 2 root 2 then we have cos 2t phase response at omega naught is equal to minus pi by 4 so we have 2t minus pi by 4 this 2 and 2 will cancel out so we are left with 1 over root 2 as the amplitude 1 over root 2 we can write as 1 over 2 power 1 by 2 or we can write as 1 over 2 power 0 0.5 if we write 2 power 0 0.5 in numerator then it will become 2 power minus 0 0.5 then we have cos 2t minus pi by 4 we can write as 0 0.25 pi so this is our output yt when the input is equal to 2 cos 2t and the system is having the frequency response 1 over j omega plus 2 and if you match the correct option you will find option D is the correct option so this is all for this lecture I will end it here see you in the next one